Imagine you are at a party, engrossed in conversation, when your eyes connect with someone across the room. In that split second, it can feel like a reassuring bridge, a shared understanding that adds a comforting layer to your interaction. And right then, it may be an unexpected dance of uncertainty, where prolonged eye contact veers into the territory of awkwardness. Making eye contact becomes the glue that binds a conversation, fostering connection and understanding. Yet, it's a delicate balance. Too much and you risk intensity. Too little and you risk detachment. The nuances of eye contact shape the ebb and flow of our connections. So how to make eye contact without feeling awkward? Let me explain. Making eye contact is like the unsung hero of conversations. Essential, but sometimes a bit tricky to master without feeling like you are in a staring contest. So here is the lowdown on turning eye contact from an awkward ordeal into a casual conversation superpower. First thing first, think of eye contact as a friendly handshake for your eyes. When you meet someone's gaze, it's like saying, hey, I'm here and I'm paying attention, but you know, without the pressure of memorizing someone's name. Start slow. It's not a staring competition, it's a connection. Give a quick glance, like you're acknowledging a friend across the room. No need to hold it forever. A brief, hey, I see you, glance can work wonders. Now the 50-70 rule. It's not math, promise. Just aim to maintain eye contact about 50-70% to 70 of the time during a conversation. This way, you are engaged without going full on laser beam mode. Is the sweet spot between being present and avoiding the awkwardly locked eyes situation. Throw in a smile, a genuine one, is like the secret sauce of eye contact. A smile takes the pressure off, making it less of a serious business and more of a friendly exchange. People dig friendly exchanges. Practice makes perfect. It's a cliche, but it works. Practice making eye contact with your reflection, your cat, or even potted plant. Seriously, the more you do it, the less it feels like an Olympic event. Remember, it's okay to look away sometimes. We are not robots. Breaks in eye contact can actually make the conversation feel more natural. Or you might give the impression you are scouting for UFOs. In the grand scheme of things, making eye contact is your secret weapon of building connections. So go ahead, give it a shot. It's less awkward than you think. And who knows, you might just become the eye contact champion of your social circle. Watch premium videos on Patreon.